What's going on guys? Matt here, Acoustic Selection. I hope you're having a great day. God's doing huge things in your life. If he's not, that's okay. God does his best work in the valley. He might be, he might be preparing you. Something might be going on in your life now that he's preparing you for something big in the future. So just stay strong, stay faithful, keep praying, keep asking. He's our Heavenly Father. Remember the model prayer, he says, Our Father. Look at God as a Heavenly Father there. That's what, that's what he wants us to do there. I love this song. We played it in church um, this past Sunday. I started out teaching it in the, I was teaching the key of C and A minor, F and G. And I thought, you know what? I got to keep it simple because... People like my simple lessons, and it's all about worshiping. We're not, we don't want to focus as much about our guitar playing as just worshiping our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So the songs will start. I got the capo on the fourth fret. Four C's, two G's, and two D's. There's a reason why the curse of sin is broken. There's a reason why the darkness runs from us. There's a reason why we stand in for Jesus is alive. That last part I did. Reason why we stand in now. And then I went to it from a C to E minor to two D's to two G's. Then you repeat that again. There's a reason why we are not over a to D. There's a reason why we sing on D. So again, on the verses, you want to do two C's. Remember, type in Matt McCoy first four chords if you knew my lessons. I teach this easy way of transitioning chords. So a C and G are the exact same, except the two middle, two fingers, top fingers. So strum the bottom five. The reason why we curse of sin is broken. There's a reason why the darkness runs from the light. Like to see, there's a reason why we stand here now to E minors. Jesus is alive. Sometimes you go that C when you're kind of waiting. Have you ever seen my first finger going up and down? I just hammer on whatever string that finger's playing. And then it goes up. There's a whole thing on that chorus. Two C's, two G's, two D's, two E minors. Repeat. Two C's, two G's, two D's, two E minors. Praise the King. He is risen. Praise the King. He is alive. Oh, praise the King. Now at the end there, and I'll do this, you'll hear me do this a lot of songs, I was doing that what's called a palm mute. And I love doing that kind of the build up of song, or maybe on the bridge. Like the bridge of this song, uh, really cool man, just gets you, like I listen to this in the gym, just gets so pumped. Thinking about the, the the price that Christ paid, we got to be more passionate about that, guys. We got to we got to sing like we know it, we mean it, and we experience it. People, I see some other people in worship and church stuff up. Praise the King, He is risen. Praise the King, He's alive. And you got to think to a lost world, they they have to be thinking, do they really believe that? Because if you really believe the Jew, grave cannot ignore it. God of heaven's glory, hell, where is your king? Death, where is your sting? The world cannot ignore it. With all the saints are holy, hell, where is your king? Death, where is your sting? We don't have to fear. 
near death. Right there on that bridge, C, G, D, E minor. And then the next time you go C, G, E minor, D. So you switch about D and C and you repeat that twice, two counts each of those. But guys, we got to sing with passion. we got to live with passion. I think I'm going to do a Wednesday word here in a couple of days on this. Saying, pushing Christians, we got to have passion. I can do more. Well, scratch that. Not me. God. God can do more with one person that's passionate. That is willingness. They're the, the, the filled with willingness and faithfulness. And they're passionate about his word. They're passionate about reaching the lost. Then a thousand people who are half committed go to church, pay their tithes, and just go back and kind of live their mundane life. And and I'm speaking to myself as much as as, as you all because I have these seasons in life. Sometimes I'm on here in a video and I'm out telling people, oh, boom, I'm so excited about Christ. Other days I wake up and it's like I'm just like the lost world. I feel so guilty about it because I'm thinking, God, you live, the Holy Spirit lives inside of me. Like the Bible verse says, the same spirit that rose Christ from the grave lives in me. Think about that one for a second. The same spirit that brought Jesus out of the grave lives inside of me right now as I'm doing this video. If I can't let that bubble up and, and cause me to create, have passion, passion for the lost, passion for the orphan, passion for the needy, passion, passion for the homeless, for the hurting, uh, for the popular, the unpopular, we, we've got to reach out there and just spread this great news of who are we that it ends in us if you've seen this video if you've seen my other videos you if you belong to a good church if if you've been told the good news of jesus christ how can we keep it in how can we just say god now that my block's checked i have the holy spirit i'm just going to keep it inside of me and just live my life how i want we've got to share we got to reproduce we got to be a channel of god's blessings not a reservoir like i always say let this song Think about the lyrics. It just, I love that part goes. The grave cannot ignore it. With all of heaven's roaring. Hell, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? So many people fear death. Especially in these third world countries and, and all over the world. They have such a fear of death. They wonder what's going to happen. But we as Christians, we don't have to. We know the keys were taken. Death has been defeated. When Jesus Christ breathed his last breath on the cross, he said, it is finished. He told his disciples, I go to prepare a place for you that when I go, I'm going to come back. I'm going to get you. Don't you worry. You're going to have troubles in this world. He said, take heart. You will have troubles in this world. But it's okay. I've overcome the world. That's where our assurance, that's where our hope and belief and our faith comes in. We know the end. You ever watch the sports game on DVR when you know who wins? You can sit back and you can just chill because you're going... My team's doing bad. They fumbled. They threw an interception. They dropped the ball. They fumbled again, fumbled again. But I know in the end we win. That's how Christians with to live. We know in the end we're on the winning side. God has finished our sins payment on that cross. Let's go live out those truths, guys. Man, I'm preaching to myself first. I'm gonna start, it's going to start with me. Please check out AcousticSelection.com. Subscribe if you haven't. And tell people about the channel. It's been spreading so fast and God's been blessing and I'm humbled by it, and I hope we just keep on producing and keep on glorifying the name and praising the king like this song says what it's all about. God bless you guys.